Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you Monk Monday number 130. Thank you to everyone who has submitted your gameplay. For those who don't know what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here, and I critique it, I review it, I go over your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, Mythic Plus, and rating. I do it all. Please send your gameplay. It's a really good way to improve. If you're too shy or you don't want to submit your games, I would still highly recommend recording your gameplay with either OBS or Shadowplay, and then watching it back. I think it's one of the best ways you can improve at anything. So today we have a Dirty Honda who says... I'm new to Miss Weaver in Solo Shuffle and don't normally play Solo Shuffle at all. That's that's amazing. Yeah, Solo Shuffle is a pretty fun bracket. It can be kind of frustrating sometimes, but it, but it is fun. I was wondering how I did in these matchups. I used to play Windwalker uh, in twos with my buddy, so I decided to give Miss Weaver a shot. I, did you get tired of waiting an hour and a half queue? Because let me tell you, I sat like a 20-minute queue as a healer the other day, and I absolutely wanted to quit. But yes, yes, I will be happy to agree critique these games looks like this hunter has a very interesting name <clears throat> and looks like we're playing boomy survival hunter versus preservation destro fury kill targets probably going to be the destro lock you don't want to have the destro lock free casting that's normally what i do normally before game rounds i uh just ask my team who we're going to go i want i want my team to have like a game plan so or at least you know who we're going to open on Sometimes they don't talk, but that's okay. Um, but you don't, you don't really have control over that. Uh, ideally, your talents are Peace Weaver for the Warlock, Disarm for the Warrior, and then you could play pretty much whatever you want. I would recommend Zen Focus T. Um, there's a good chance that the Warlock's kicking your Boomy clones, but there's also a good chance that they're not. So I would go Zen Focus T to be safe. If you don't want to be safe, Connect Magic's pretty good. Eminence might be okay if they try to make swaps to you, but I don't think they will. So I would just go Zen Focus T. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 1440p. Jeez. That's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, this is good. Havoc on your Hunter and Stormbolt. So there's a good chance that the Warlock's going to try to double coil. I would line the Warlock just for now. We got a Root Beam on the Warlock. You kind of want some follow-up CC. Hopefully, what we're looking for, hopefully, from your Boomy, is what we're looking for is Cyclone Spam to get rid of the Nullifying Shroud stacks. If not, that's okay. But after once these stacks are down, you kind of want to go in for CC when you can. Uh, no, Root Beam is fine, I guess. That's okay. And Warrior's using his little Warrior cooldowns over there, which is okay, too. And Report, that's fine. Your Boomy is hella in, so you need to be careful. These stacks of Slaughterhouse right here are the healing reduction that the Fury Warrior has. I believe it gets to eight. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to disarm the warrior whenever you can, like as fast as you can. And that way the stacks fall because they can't use their, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what the ability is called for fury warriors that apply slaughterhouse, but they need to, uh, they need a melee weapon. So if you disarm them, they're fine. But that looks like the warrior's damage right there. So that's pretty good. Good disarm from your boomy in cap sweep on the warrior. Probably want to save that for the, the evoker just because the nullifying shroud stacks are down now. So there's, you know, you can get full CC on the dragon. It's normally really easy to CC a dragon too because they have that short range on their abilities. And let's see, they're swapping to your hunter now because the hunter, your hunter is a little bit overextended. We roll in, that's okay. We're just, yeah, our hunter. So yeah, I would say, let me see what happens here because I think the hunter went around the other side of the pillar. Let me see. Yeah, the hunter went around the other side of the pillar, and then we went around this side of the pillar, and now we get storm bolted, and then we put his sphere up. I would probably turtle cocoon. So yeah, it's just really honestly that overlap right there. It kind of comes down to your hunter just being super out of position, um, and going around the other side of the pillar, which is really unfortunate. Um, but I would say if your team if your team wants to push in, push in with them on one of the pillars, but pick a pillar. You know, like pick like pick one pillar, and that way you guys can just collect behind that one because this right now are really spread out kick on your boomy really good shaylun's gift there as well they don't again they have one range kick here and the dragon is just going around i don't see the dragon kicking either so i mean oh sorry the warlock kicking so this is pretty good so, for you so far good zen sphere as well on the boomy bolts are coming in hot though be careful staying in the middle of the map because you you could get for, this team isn't ccing that much but you can get triple feared sleepwalked storm bolted so Keep that in mind. Just try not to stay. Yeah, here comes the sleepwalk. And then as soon as you CC a Mistweaver in the middle of the map, they're pre you're pretty much stuck there. Unless they gap the 
the CC on you and you could pour it out, but you see they Shadow Furyed you, they Sleepwalked you, there's a good chance they could even kill you if this Warlock has a coil off of the Shadow Fury and bolts. And then there's a fear. See, so this is, and then you get stunned. Like, it's, you get CC forever. So try not to stand in the middle of the map, especially if you're playing a Castamus Weaver. Like, just don't stand in the middle of the map. And then they can kick you for free. Uh, see, they, there's the Nox from the Dragon. And then, yeah, we still have skin from our Broomy, which is really good. Hopefully, we get to spell in the Sphere. A good root Beam, I think, unless we missed it. We might have missed our root Beam. I can't see over there. Sadly, yeah, I think we missed it. Uh, but yeah, good job healing here. I think this is last season. Too. Yeah, this is definitely last season as well. Uh, but that's okay. You know, it, it, the same concepts apply. Kick on your boomy, which is really good. But again, try to stay out of the middle of the map. That way it's really hard for teams to CC you. Because Warlocks can spam Fear you for, for like a few seconds. And then they can have follow-up with Shadow Fury or Stormbolt. Good clone there on the... Uh, who just got cloned? Good clone on one of on somebody. I thought I saw a clone going out. Good job. Shadow's gift here is massive. Perfect. Yeah, really good. Ship the scales from the Evoker. Double coil as well coming out. Nice in cap on the dragon. Nice. If we can get a sweep off, it'd be really good. Spear. I haven't seen a warrior use spear in a minute. Good disarm from the boomy. Trap on the warrior as well. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking pretty good for you. I would say right now your position is pretty solid. So I would just stay right here. But I can already feel this hunter is going to go behind the pillar and try to kill this guy. So it's... Oh, no, maybe he learned his lesson. We have life cocoon still, which is really good. That's the most important thing is when you when you're late in the dampening, uh, you definitely want to have your your cocoon. Uh, nice, ooh, nice sweep here, beautiful, good, good, and we root beam, fantastic. Should get a kill, yeah, fantastic, really good work there. That was that was a really good round. Um, just stay out of the middle of the map. That's like the only thing that I saw. Just stay out of the middle of the map and avoid the CC as much as you can. But I think going later into that round, we, we did a pretty good job. This is going to be just run down. You could run down either of them. You could probably should run down the boomy just because Cyclones are more important to stop than Fears. And I think boomies do like a ton of damage. So let's see. Also for talents, I would run Canarch Magic, Peace Weaver, like Zen Focus T or Zen Sphere. Whichever one you want for the last one. Then Focus T is good versus the Warlock, but it's kind of useless versus the Boomy because you're Orc. So you're probably just going to eat the, the Root Beam either way. Um, no Fine Shroud stacks are up. Warlock's in the middle of the map. Evoker is just out in the middle. I would try to get rid of those stacks. I guess we have nothing spammable to really get rid of them. That was uh, Fire Breath from the Evoker. No flying shot stacks are down to 10. Disarm on your warrior. Might want to dispel that. Good. Root beam on you, which I think is okay. It looks like we're doing all right. I think hunters, I think survival hunters have the master's call pet or what is it called? The the freedom pet. So you should be able to get out of this root beam, but I don't think he, he has it or he's not playing it or he just doesn't know either one. But that was exhilaration for your hunter. Deep breath from the evoker. Yeah. Yeah, that seems about right. Th th I know for a fact that hunters have a freedom pet. So uh, right here, let's see what happens. So we have Incarn from the Boomy. We have, oh, portals coming out, or rifts coming out from the Destro Lock. We use Exil there. We eat a full sleep. We have a lot of buttons, to be honest. To, to be fair, we have a, not, not just us, but like the hunter has like, we're going to sacrifice a little late though. And then he probably gets stunned. He gets stunned. He has Trinket though, but it's just too late. Yeah, so what I would recommend, by the way, I don't know if we have it. Oh, no, I don't think we have it. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is you're playing Normal Revival. Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't play Normal Revival. Unless you're playing against an Affliction Warlock, don't play Normal Revival. Always play Restoral. It's infinitely better and because of right here, especially versus Evokers. Every spec Evoker has a breath that can, if they spec into it, that can stun everybody or whoever it hits. So right here, and it lines up with it. So right here, when you get stunned, I would instantly, instantly restore it with Peace Weaver and make everyone immune. That way, you don't need to trinket. Hopefully, your hunter doesn't have to trinket. And everyone's immune to magic damage, which you're queuing into Boomy, Destro Lock, and Evoker. And they all have magic damage. So that's what I would do. I would make sure you play Restoral instead of Peace Weaver, instead of regular re Revival. And then you would have been, your te whole team would have been safe here. You would have been completely fine this round um, if, you, if you just played it because you could use it while stunned. And you don't have to waste trinket as well. So that's really good. Um, survival Hunter, Dash Lock. You probably want to kill the Boomy. I would say you want to kill Boomy. 
I don't know if uh, the warrior, maybe the warrior can die later in dampening, but uh, yeah, no, I, I think that you're, you want to play, you want to kill the boomy for sure. Good job renewing mist going out. Perfect. Good. Good. You got a statue down. Great. Careful. Don't don't be too far. This for some reason this evoker is like this evoker is buttering you up for some reason with like living flames. I don't know why. Uh that's root on your nice, nice, good, good, good. Get some slaughter. You got some slaughterhouse stacks in you. Just try to cut them out. I mean, they last for a long time, but do your best. Um, I think we do we just try to incap into that? I think we did try to incap into that nullifying shroud, but I can't see our incap anywhere. Let me see if I can find it. There's Rop. No, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, we do. And we trinketed there. Be careful. Be careful with that trinket. You, you, you will lose. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, you can never on a Mistweaver ever, ever trinket aggressively. And I've learned that the hard way over many years of playing Mistweaver. You might you might think it's a good idea at the time. I can reassure you, <laughs> it's never good. We get Emerald Communion though, so that that's the fair trade. That's good. That's a really really good one. Um, and then their only ranged kick, ranged kick, I guess, is the root beam, which is gonna be trouble. And then the evoker, but the evoker should be easy to deal with because what you gonna want to do versus any class that has a ranged kick is you want to line them. So use the pillar to your advantage. Cla t people can't they can't kick through pillars. So. Just do your best to line with the pillar and then align the dragon. This guy looks like he's setting up a clone on you. That's Incarn. Here comes a clone on you. Nice job lining it. Fantastic work. Also, we want Disarm. If we're playing Disarm, you want to Disarm the Warrior because this is Avatar. <laughs> we have two icons for it. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you could Disarm it instantly, it'd be fantastic. I think hunt Survival Hunters also have some kind of Disarm. Or is it Silent? I think it's a Disarm. With a tar trap or something. So just be, again, be, be careful with that. And then we're also, nice job with Zen Sphere as well. We're a sacrifice group on you. Looking for freedom from the hunter, but maybe, maybe they don't have it. I, I could have sworn that they did have it though. Um, but now we're sleepwalked. Again, we don't have Trinket. Might get feared off this as well. Nice Shaylin's gift here. Be fantastic. And it was a late kick from the Evoker. Do we have Precog? Hmm. I guess you said you play Windwalker, so maybe there's a chance we don't have Precog. Um, do I wonder if we don't have precog because this dragon looks like he kicks you? Yeah, I think that I think the dragon tried to kick you there, but we don't have precog because I don't see the buff going out or the animation, so that is a little bit unfortunate. Um, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, we definitely don't have it. Um, and then fear on you, and then this this is really yeah. I mean, never trink it aggressively. You can't. You can't. You you, you literally can't. Otherwise, that happens. I'm trying to see if there's a way for us to survive this, even if, you know, even if we did have training. Let me see. So, we're a sacrifice. Good from your hunter. We get a really good Shaylin's gift here. Fantastic Shaylin's gift. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Yes. Good Shaylin's gift here. And then we have Thunder Focus T and Belping Mist as well. So, Renewing Mist. I would, I would start with the Renewing Mist. It's really important to always get a Renewing Mist out. A lot of your spells interact with Renewing Mist. Oh, we also turtled there. I didn't realize that. And then I would go for like um, a Renewing Mist, Thunder Focus T, and Velping Mist is what we're looking for. Because Thunder Focus T is what's going to give your team, and then we could kick this. Nice kick. Uh, Thunder Focus T and Velping Mist is going to keep your hunter alive while you're CC. That's what's going to keep your hunter alive. You have a lot of C you have a lot of healing outside of crowd control, but before you get put in a crowd control, you want to at least have an Enveloping Mist on, on whoever's dying. Because Enveloping Mist is a really strong hunt. Good port here too. And then, I oh, we get Fear. We don't even get a chance really, do we? <clears throat> yeah, we just have no Hotch right now. And then we still have Thunder Focus T and Velpy Mist. So maybe there was a chance he could have lived, but it would have been... No, nah, he dies instantly. Yeah. Yeah, your best bet would have put doing like Redoing Mist, Thunder Focus T and Velpy Mist here. And then obviously positioning a little bit better. You could see your Hunter right here. I would have rolled over here. Like, to a, you, you need to roll to a pillar. Just stay on the pillar. Because right here, you see how we're in the middle of the map right now? It's It's all free CC on you. Let me tell you something. It's it's not fun. People wish that monks would stay in the middle of the map because you just get CC'd forever. Like, you just do. And then, they, you know what's even worse? Is they can swap you and kill you if they wanted to. So, again, just this, this round really just comes down to just not staying on a pillar. Yeah, I'm not even playing. Like, I wish I was kidding. I really do. You, you have to stay on the pillar to avoid CC and kicks on you. Otherwise, this is going to happen. You're going to get CC'd 
uh, forever. And if you are going to get CC'd, by the way, try to have a renewing mist and enveloping mist up before you get put in a CC. And most of the time, you know, your team is going to, your team's going to be fine, right? But um, <clears throat> obviously, it's going to be trouble later in dampening. So, all right. So we have the Warlock and the Boomy here. These, this is what I like, by the way. The, the, this is, a, I think this is good for you to heal because monks have really good single target healing. So what I would tell my teammates is just play spread out, my guy. Just team, play spread out. The reason for this is because you have really good single target healing. So if only one person is taking damage at a time, you can heal them easily, like easily. Just keep your hots in them, your soothing mist, vivify, you're, you're good. It's when they stack that's going to get rough. It's also survival hunter, um, warrior, prez. So prez has to be in to CC or heal anything. So it's going to be really easy to CC the prez evoker. And then I think you just got to <clears throat> want to kill the hunter. I think that's all you want. You just kill, target the hunter. I mean, obviously you get the double coils on the both DPS, but I think your team's going to Probably killed the hunter. And then the nullifying shroud stacks are like nothing because we have spamble clone and fear. So, and then we also have root beam. So if I was this boomy, I mean, you're not the boomy, but if I was this boomy, I'd root beam the preservation evoker and then I will just uh, spam clone off the shroud stacks. Good job keeping Zen sphere up. What you want to do is you want to get renewing mists on both people. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they purge them off. So preservation evoker has a talent where each time they empower each tier of empowering their fire breath, it purges. It, it does a purge. So they purge off all your hots. It's fine because there isn't much pressure right now. So I think that's kind of a waste, but you do have to reapply all of your renewing mist again, which is kind of annoying. But we already have one charge going, so I think it's okay. But yeah, you want to make sure... Yeah, perfect. Really good work here. Nice. Good renewing mist. Get another renewing mist. Nice. Good. Good. Explosive shot on the Warlock, as well as Scorbid Sting. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dispel the silence as soon as you get out of the CC... Maybe not. Maybe uh, no. Your trap full doesn't matter. All right. So they go in your warlock. We're hoping for a port. Beautiful. Thank God. All right. He ports. Uh, revival here is good too. That look like health. Okay. I. Yeah, we take that. We we take those dubs. That's 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 we take those rounds. Uh, good round there. Good round sitting that CC without <laughs> without drinking. But uh, yeah, good work. <clears throat> Just try to notice when your hots fall off, and you'll be fine. But yeah, I think they killed targets the hunter. Actually, I'd be surprised if this hunter... <clears throat> is this hunter going 06? No, he won one round with you, right? And then you lost two rounds after that? So uh, that might have been like the... Uh, the the round that you should that, that you had to win. So this is, again, I would probably hit the... I don't know, you gotta hit the boomy here. But again, same thing, what you're trying to... Or maybe it's a warrior 6-0. I don't know if the warrior 6-0 or not. But... You're doing a good job. We're just gonna focus on you. Well, no, no, no. Find shrouds up from the preservation worker. There, there. Oh, no, sir. Okay, repeated and stunned and cloned. Okay, clone on your warrior. They're probably gonna go your warlock. Good. Renewing this felt beautiful. Good job. All right, yeah. This is okay. Don't push in though. Don't. This is fine. What you want to do is you want to be exactly where you were, like right here. You want to be right here. Actually, you want to be even closer to the pillar. You don't want to go anywhere close because this team has stun, trap, cyclone, cyclone, cyclone into like another stun, into a ton of damage. So stay close to this pillar and you should be okay. Don't push in any further because they're going to get free CC on you. Like this right now, this is scary, especially versus a druid. This is even scarier. We are in now. Okay, good. Nice. Human ratio from your warlock. Careful though, cyclone. Cocoon the Warlock, okay. Trap on you. I guess it's 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 a pretty good pre-cocoon. Yeah, on the trap. They might... Nice kick on that. Try to sweep. Beautiful sweep. Hunter struggle. We just got Turtle from the Hunter, but we're hitting the Boomy. So let's hopefully we, we connect. We need you... Okay. Yeah, okay. Stun into potentially clone here. That's fine. That's good. We still have Trinket. We still have Wall. We still have Port. Yep, love it. Love it. Yep. Good. Good. Renewing this is out. When you heal a warlock, by the way, your position needs to be right. It's close. It's close, but you need to position here. All right. I brought the pen tool out. So I'm going to show you how to position versus a warlock. Let me see my little pen here. All right. So what you're going to want to do, your warlock's port is right here. That means your warlock, when he ports, he's going to land right there. And if you are LOS of the ports, so let's just say you're standing where you were like right over here. 
your soothing mist isn't gonna you're, you're just gonna channel, but you're not gonna be able to use your vivify or envelop mist because they are LOS. So what you want to do is you want to position on or around their port. So when you're playing with the warlock, you have their port here. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to stand either here or over on this side of the pillar, depending on where the team is, depending on you know the you know whatever's going on in the round or game. You're gonna stand on one uh, one side of the port, and you're also gonna put your transcendence. Do we have transcendence? We don't have a port down. Oh yeah, we do. You're, we're gonna to want to put our port like right here. That way you can port with your warlock if there's ever a situation that needs it. And the reason for this is because when you when the warlock ports and you're standing here, you're able to soothing mist the warlock and still be able to channel and cast envelop mist and vivify. And that, that's why you need to always be in line of your Warlock's port, or at least when it's about to come off cooldown. So you have 20 seconds. They don't, they're not going to port for 20 seconds or probably shorter if they're running the talent. But always try to be close to the Warlock's port and have your Transcendence close by. That way you're always able to heal them, even if they port LOS. Revenue Mist here. Good. Envelop Mist. We're probably going to want to send out an Envelop Mist soon just because, yeah. Okay. The Booming breaks that trap. Nice Shaylin's gift here as well. Perfect. Fire, deep breath comes out from the evoker. Be careful of the root beam. We don't have trinket. Warlock has wall, and, but warlock also has port. So that's also that's also packed from the warlock as well. You want to send an enveloping mist out. Good. Renewing mist here too. Beautiful. There's Yulon. Fantastic. You might want to dispel. Okay. I was gonna say dispel the root, but that was pretty good round. I don't know what we trinketed. I think we trinketed when the warlock got low. Let me see. Yeah, cyclone on you. Warlock has wall. Yeah, I guess this is a pretty... What you want When you play your Mistweaver, what you want to do is you always want to line up your Trinket with something. So you want to Trinket Cocoon or Trinket Revival. You never normally just want to Trinket. Oh, good. Yeah, Trinket Revival is perfect there. So that, that's what you want to do. If you just Trinket, it just feels bad, especially if you don't have, like, ways to heal and stuff like that. It just feels rough. I see that your Rop <laughs> Classic Ring of Peace here goes on the uh, thing behind you. So Ring of Peace didn't work. Fantastic. One day they'll fix that. Probably not today. Not anytime soon. Kick on you is okay. Trap on you. It gets actually broken from the boomy. So that's really solid. And then deep breath. But I think the hunter just goes down. Explosive shot. You want to dispel the explosive shot when you can. But oh, and also when you're in root beam, like you could do stuff while you're root beamed. So nice. Um, wait, did you incap the dragon here? I think we tried, but I think it's hell. I don't know. We tried to incap something, or maybe it broke instantly. I think it broke instantly. But you could also channel your manatee here. So <clears throat> if you're just stuck in a red beam, just you could channel your manatee like towards the end. That way you don't you can come out and just have the mana reduction and have more mana. But I, yeah, the hunter just gets absolutely cranked here. Yeah, like no shot. Wow. Yeah, good work. Yeah, really, really good. I think this might be an 06 for the hunter. But I think you won one round with the hunter. So it's pretty good. Straight into the corner here in timeout. <laughs> no, these games are these these games are really good. Usually when I see that like someone was a windwalker, they fist weave, but cast and mistweaver is a lot of fun too, in my opinion. I think cast and mistweaver is a lot of fun. So it's talents for this, definitely want eminence, so for stun trap, and then you want peace weaver for death lock. And then you could probably play Zen Focus T for the range kicks. You could play Counter Magic for the dots, anything like that, you can you can play. But or Zen Spheres, of course. Zen Sphere is always an option in Shuffle, I feel like. Um, I think our Hunter, our Warrior is a little scared to go out there. I get it. I understand. We have our Boomy, who gets the Hunter out. Bash into Clone, probably. Yes, it looks like we're going to hit the Warlock. I think this is really good. There's the Havoc. Hopefully, it would be nice if your Boomy could dispel the Havoc, but I don't think they are. So just try to line so you don't get the double coil. Trap on you. Nice sweep on the Hunter, but they still got the trap, sadly. Rolling, rolling forever in, in frozen freezing trap. Silence on the hunt on the warrior probably is not what the hunter meant to do. <laughs> Revival's fine. That's also um, defensives from your warrior. So be careful pushing in like this, though. Yeah, be very careful. We're not, you know, we're not other healers. Okay, we're not. We gotta stay way far back. Nice end sphere here. Really good. That's kick on your boomy. In cap on the dragon is fantastic. If we can get a sweep or something, it'd be great. I don't know if we have sweep. We don't have sweep. That's fine. Hunter's trying to Hunter is trying to. I don't think he's trying to hit you. I think he's trying to trap you. So just be careful. You always want to want to be in range of your port. 
always want to be in range of port. That's everyone community from the dragon. We are very far from our port right now. So we can get CC to CC and then like swap to. So just be careful. Shadow Fury on the your warrior. Okay, that was rescue from the dragon. Living flame spam. Fear on your boomy. Boomy trinkets the fear because he's trying to get a kill. All right, bash on the evoker. Maybe we can get something off if we have an in-cap or something. Probably could have been a good chance to in-cap the, the evoker here because I don't see any clones coming out from the boomy. So it could have in the evoker here, but that's okay. Zen Sphere. Warrior has nothing. We still have Cocoon, though. Warlock isn't kicking for some reason, so that's kind of nice for us. And neither is the dragon, really. Nice full clone. I think we just got to kill here. You can in-cap off that clone, but... Yeah, that this was this was a good round. This was solid. Be careful pushing in. Be very be very careful when you push in because teams, if they recognize it, obviously, thankfully, this team didn't. Uh teams can swap to you and kill you. The thing, the thing is, is if they swap to you and they try to kill you when you overextend it and then you trinket, like you you trinketed for nothing. Like you could have prevented using your trinket by just not pushing in. So just keep that in mind. Uh, don't push in, obviously. Never push in. We have our hots going, which is really nice. I would say overall, really good. The biggest thing I noticed is try to utilize... Yeah, I, you use it now, but try to utilize your Thunder Focusing and Velvet Mist when there's, like, kicks available. Um, and always get those those Renewing Mists renewing mist out first. Really good um, Zen Spheres as well. Fantastic Zen Spheres. Um, overall, some pretty good games, though. Use your Instant Vivifies, too. Uh, we have the buff up for quite a bit right here. Just use them when you get the chance. If there's kicks available, this Warlock didn't really kick you, I think, at all. But I think overall, it's just really good practice. And then, yeah, just don't push in. Stay out of the middle of the map. The middle map is like, no, like, no go. You want to be, like, on the pillar, <laughs> healing your teammates from the pillar, avoiding CC when you can, and just making it really hard for teams to CC you and kick you. Try to try to use the pillars as well to line the interrupts. It's fantastic if you can do that. But overall, I mean, Dirty Honda, this, these were some great games. Honestly, I I can see you pushing much higher as Miss Weaver. You know, one less Windwalker, one more Miss Weaver. We'll, we'll poach as many of, of them as we can. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for me. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. And that is it. hopefully this was helpful for you or anyone who might be watching, running into issues. I'm more than happy. Everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.